Hello everybody, welcome to my room tour. I decided to do a tour of my room because I love watching the room tours and I've gotten a lot of ideas from watching the room tours and there's just so many beautiful ideas out there and I incorporated a little bit from here and there and now I have this beautiful room which is YouTube inspired I guess you could say and I think it's awesome you know and it's there's nothing wrong with that it's hey it's established me to have a nice beautiful room and a happy place to come to when I'm ready to relax and take it easy and I, I love coming into my room now so thank you for watching and without further ado let's begin alrighty alright so here it is when you walk in this is what you see I will just briefly show the top because those are self-portraits of my daughter and my son and my daughter doesn't like me showing that portrait of her although I think it's beautiful all right so here to my left I have this mirror that I bought at a yard sale and it's leaning on the wall with that little stool that I bought at Ross and that's just a little pillow that I also bought at Ross and I just have it leaning there and of course I got this idea from many room tours here on YouTube with the rolling garment rack I love this whoever came up with this whoever started this you're wonderful I love you because this really is fabulous I like the fact that I just walk right here and I pick out what I want these are my most used and it's just and it saves a lot of space in the closet and I have I bought this rack from Walmart and I have in here in this basket I have all of my like cords like the cords to the computer and the, the charging cords and I also have extra curling irons in there an extra blow dryer and this here actually this little pillow I should I was supposed to put this on the bed alrighty now this box here I bought this at Ross and I this tool I just um, put it with the twisty tie in the middle in the back here and then I glued on this flower and I bought the flower at Walmart and then on the flower I glued on this little rhinestone and I bought this little rhinestone at the dollar store it was actually a ring and I just took it off the ring and glued it on there and then I glued this onto the box and in here I have sandals and flip-flops and just displayed high heels try to make it look pretty and little shoes down here and over here the little dress form my brother gave that to me for my birthday about seven years ago and it was cream I did spray paint it black I made this bow I put this on there same thing this was a ring that I bought at the dollar store and I just tore it off and glued it on there and I bought this keychain at Michael's and I also put that on there with the twisty tie when I made the bow and this is a vase that I bought at Ross the flowers at Michael's and I just have my glass my sunglasses displayed on there I bought this at Hobby Lobby um, currently I have in there my prescription glasses here are some milk glasses with just little jewelry in it the cube I bought at Ikea a long time ago this is just a curtain a Rachel Ashwell curtain that I just have there I have some books down here. I read most of them except for part two and part three of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I got to get on with that and get to step in and read it all. And then this is the little famous Ikea planter. I just uh, put a ribbon around it. I ran it through the little holes there. And then I put this little thingy on there. I bought this at uh, Hobby Lobby in the wedding department. I just stuck it in there. It has a little wire on the other end. And that little teddy bear, I heat him up in the microwave when I have a tummy ache. Uh, that is just a bitty page book, and underneath I have my laptop, and, and all my big uh, fluffy sweaters that I have. Actually, there's a couple of them. I have them right in here. And then I just glue this little lace on here, give it that shabby chic look. This lamp here, this is, all right, let me step back. This is my little vanity area. This lamp, I bought this at Ross in 2000. It didn't have the lampshade, 
I was afraid it wasn't going to work, but I wasn't too worried about it because it was only $1.49. And uh, it turned out she does work, and I still have her. And this, the lampshade itself, I bought that in St. Augustine years ago. And the fringes were longer, but I cut them because it got kind of old. I made this bow, put this flower on there. These are some stick pins that I made, and I just put them in there just to give it a little bit of bling, make it look pretty. This here was a picture frame. I bought that at uh, Marshall's, and I bought the little candle holder at Michael. No, wait a minute. Yeah, Michael's. The mirror, I bought that at Tuesday morning. The vanity table is vintage. I bought that at an antique store. It's French Provincial. The little antique chair, chair that was my brother's. He likes antique things also. And I reupholstered that. It didn't look like that at all. And the material I bought at Hobby Lobby. And then over here, I have my little makeup mirror. This one here, you just touch it and it turns on. And on here, I just have a bracelet, some brushes. This uh, is a candle holder. And I bought this at, I bought the candle holder at Michael's, the little perfume bottle, and that one at Hobby Lobby. The Beauty Cube, I ordered that on Amazon. The lamp, I bought this at Target. And this is really bright. It's, I mean, unbelievably bright. It's, it's blinding almost. So I only turn it on when I do my makeup because I don't look at it when I'm doing my makeup. But I would not have it. I have one in the living room, but I had to put a light bulb in there that smaller, one of the chandelier light bulbs because it really, when they made this, they made it wrong. They should have put the little shade there that they do on lamps. They really should have put one on there to cover it. Alrighty, this is my bathroom. Yes, I have this tall arch it's really tall I've always wanted to put a curtain there and have it like hanging like a loop like you know just I don't know what you call that but just draping but it's 130 inches long and to get material that long is just too much so I haven't gotten around to it maybe someday all right so right here this is my jewelry stand I bought this at Big Lots the little lady I bought her at Ross and I this is a bar red I bought it at the dollar store I just took off the elastic part and I glued it on there and I put this little she came with a little pearl necklace but I added the little bling and the little pearls to match that and this is my closet I installed this glass mirror I bought this at Lowe's And inside is the closet. I am going to repaint this closet because this was left over paint. And I don't like it. This paint gets too bubble gum looking. So, but for now this is it. And I just have some shoes displayed up there, some boots. The little bra stand thing, I bought that on eBay. I thought it was cute. And just have some jewelry in here or my nail polishes. And this little pajama th right here, that was my mom. She passed away a few months ago. And they, the nursing home told me that this was her favorite one, her favorite pajama. And they let me have it. God rest her soul. Indeed, the mom. And up here in these boxes, I have more of her clothes. And I do use them, but they're winter clothes because she was up north. And I'm here in Florida, so I, it's too hot right now to use them. And the little Disney hat, my brother and I went to Disney World a couple of years ago. We, he goes through phases when he wants to be, uh, he went through a phase where he wanted to be a ballerina, so we took ballet lessons. Then he wanted to live his life as if he was a tourist. So we, that summer we started going to Disney, and that's my little hat, and I look at that. I keep it there because it reminds me of that, it's, it was fun times. And all my shoes, and then this here, I have all my boots in here, and I made this. These are uh, corn husk box boxes. I got them for, for free at Walmart. My hat boxes, I have hats in there. Baseball caps, winter hats, and my gardening hat. It's a straw hat, really big one. And then my closet, I put these little French doors on there myself. I do have a tutorial on that. And I would not recommend doing that by yourself. I did it alone, and it was very difficult. 
It was, I had a hard time doing this. I'll never do it again alone. And the bathroom pretty much looks the same. I just have hanging here this mirror, and I put my towels on there, or pajamas, before I go to bed. And this here is very special to me because my mom gave that to me before she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And she told me to, when I get lonely, to think of her. And this winds up and it plays music. In fact, I'm going to play a little bit of it in honor of her. Oh, that's so sad. Isn't that so sad sounding? Oh my god. And this here is my little TY teddy bear, a little powder container. I bought that at um, at the mall. I can't remember the name of the store. This here is vintage. This I can't remember what they call it, but back in the Victorian days, when a lady brushed her hair, they would uh, remove the hair from the brush and put it in these containers. And when they passed away, their loved ones would make jewelry out of their leftover hair. And I thought that was very intriguing. I really wasn't really interested by that. And that's just what they did in the past. So I thought it was pretty cool. So when I found out about that, I was on the hunt for one of these. And I found one at an antique store. But I actually keep my eyeliner sharpeners in here. And then this here is a teacup that my mom gave me. It was around the same time she gave me the little wind-up doll, the musical doll. So that's very special to me. And the shelf I bought at Ross, and I painted it. It was green when I bought it. And this here is a vintage hanger. And I bought this at the thrift store. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it looks like it to me, and I use I, I don't use it, but I just put it there for display. And I ordered that from Target. There was three of them. I gave one to a friend, one is sitting in my garage, and one I have up there. And up here on the plant shelf, I have that lady I bought her at the mall. I was shopping with some friends. This was about 11 years ago. And the couple of girls that I was with, they when they saw this, they said, oh my God, she looks like you. And when I looked at it, I thought, oh my God, she does. I used to look like that. I used to wear my hair exactly like that. My body was skinny like that. Not skinny anymore. But, uh, so I bought it. And I don't look like that anymore. Wish I did, but I don't. And this little pot of this pot i bought that at old time pottery the little sign up there i bought that at portside imports i don't even know if that store still exists this here this little shelf i'm going to remove that it wasn't there i just had that there because my vanity table i put it in my craft room because i used to work at home when i started working at home i actually was working at home for the last eight years and i wasn't wearing that much makeup anymore so i moved my vanity table into my craft room but now i'm back in the office and my vanity table is back in here the betty boop was gifted to me i bought this at barnes and nobles a long long time ago i usually have cotton balls in there i gotta buy some more and i just have brushes and mirrors in there a little bit of makeup uh, just just things those things and this little shelf I install that there it's leftover tile from when I had the tile done and I just put all brackets down there and yeah and oh so now I'm going around this way okay so when I leave the bathroom you come back out into the bedroom there we go to the left right here I bought that mirror at Hobby Lobby I bought this lamp at Old Time Pottery the flowers in the vase at Michaels the mirrored table at Ross now this lamp I thought it was so pretty look at this I'm gonna change this out because it's getting rusty these little pieces here I thought that was so pretty Alrighty, then over here I bought the little mirror tables at Target a few years ago. I think it was four years ago, and I got them marked down to thirty-eight dollars each. 
and the little lamps I bought them at Hobby Lobby 50% off they did not come with the lamp post I bought these at Walmart and they are little girl lamps but I like lamps that have the little chain when I, by my bedside because when I get up in the middle of the night or early in the morning I don't want to fish for the little switch I don't like going under here and looking for it I like to just go to the chain and turn it on and the mirrors the little bling bling mirrors that's popular here on the room tours got those at Hobby Lobby of course the little cl clock I got that from Target and I watched um, sparkly blonde one of her hauls she bought this clock and she said it was from Target so I went to Target I like the little numbers on it how it's colorful and sure enough Target had it so that's where I got that idea from I have my Bible there and a photo album and I do read my Bible mm-hmm the chandelier that was given to me years ago early 90s when I lived in St. Augustine an old neighbor gave that to me and I spray painted it black and I added the little plastic gems it has some of the original crystals but a lot of it was lost over the years and I just added some little plastic ones that I bought at Hobby Lobby and the bedding set I ordered this on Amazon for $28 yes it's a duvet came with the um, what do you call it the bed skirt and three of these pillows this one here there's another one in the middle here the little circle which I added this little brooch on there it's a pen I just pinned it on there and the pillowcases and the roughly pillows I bought those at Ross and the little vase I bought that at the thrift store for $1.99 and the flowers at Hobby Lobby and the curtains are a mess right now these curtains up here I bought at Ikea and they were this entire window was filled with these curtains here but my sweet little fur baby Shiloh decided to do a little accident on it so I had to get rid of half of them and it's expensive to buy one uh, curtains for this window so they don't match so these ones here the laces I just bought those at the thrift store and someday I will buy them all matching curtains again but I'm not gonna worry about it right now and the bust I bought her at Hobby Lobby and I distressed her she was all white but I painted her all black and then white over it because I wanted the black to show through necklace I bought at Hobby Lobby all the pearls from Hobby Lobby in the Christmas department and the what do we call those the pillar I don't know what that's called I got that in St. Augustine many years ago it's old and messed up I usually paint it but I decided not to paint it I'm keeping it the way it is that is my Christmas wreath if you can believe it I bought that at Walmart I do put it out for Christmas but I think it's too pretty to store away so I just keep it over the door and this is it for my room tour I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it and take care and I hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up that would be awesome you have a blessed day